What's going on? It's Stranger, and welcome to another YouTube music production video where my mission is to help you succeed in making music. And today's video has been a popular one. We're going to be doing Belgian Jump Up. Now I knew that the Belgians have been great at making virtually everything from Belgian waffles to Belgian chocolate to Belgian beer. But when I heard about Belgian jump up, it really got me curious. Now thanks to all you guys out there that sent me recommendations on Belgian jump up tracks to listen to. You've sent me stuff from Captain Bass to Bass Tripper, as well as the new and talented producer, Latte. Shouts out to Latte. And I really studied this sound, and I'm gonna say that today's video is my first attempt at Belgian Jump Up. Now for all you guys that know this sound a little more in depth, you're gonna have to keep me honest. Let me know how I did, if I was successful, or if there's something I still need to get that Belgian Jump Up sound. Now after studying this genre, I know that there are a number of different bass sounds that are being used in this style. However, in today's video, we're gonna keep it a little more basic, and we'll call this Level 1 of Belgian Jump Up. Now one thing that came to mind when I was listening to this genre was that there's this bass sound that made me think of Dr. Evil in Austin Powers when he meets his son for the first time and he does that Daka 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 dance. So keep that in mind because that's going to play out in how we're going to design the sound today. And as I've been doing recently, I'm just going to give you guys the preset for free in the description below. And all I ask of you is to like the video, write a comment, share it. And if you want to receive more content like this, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so we're going to be doing this with Serum. Now we're going to be using only one oscillator and the goal is to find a wave table that has a lot of harmonics. So we're looking for something that has a nasally texture to it. It almost sounds like an alien talking and that's what we want. So I found that a number of different waveforms can give you this result, especially the wavetables in the digital section as well as the spectral wavetables. So for example, the monster wavetables are great. The Reese wavetables also work. Trilobite also works as well. So I encourage you guys to explore the different wavetables because it really gives you a different sound. And this is the goal here is to learn the technique so you can make it your own sound. So I'm gonna try Monster 3 here. And notice how it sounds like an alien talking. I'll just go through a couple so you can hear. Here's Monster 2. Here's another one, it's got Creeper. The Reesey ones also are great. So again, try out the different wavetables. I'm gonna stick with Monster 3 and then adjust the wavetable position so it's at a position that has enough harmonics. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the main concept of creating this sound is to articulate different parameters to make it sound like a saying a word. So we're going to create syllables such as the ducka 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 by modulating the volume using the LFO as an envelope. And just for reference here, I have the Austin Powers sample here. <laughs> So keep that in mind, we're going to be using that as a reference to articulate our sound. And we're going to be using LFO as an envelope to articulate this. And we're going to be modulating the volume of oscillator A. So let's assign LFO 1 to the level of oscillator A. Then bring the level all the way down and then drag the amount all the way up. Now, enable the envelope mode for LFO 1 so it only cycles once. To get that ducka ducka sound, there's two syllables, right? Ducka. So you gotta have to bring this guy here, and we're on the quarter note right here, and bring this guy down, and then add another point. So now that's the basis, okay? Now, to give it a little more funk, you want to create kind of like a swing. So you want to delay this guy and bring this, for example, closer to over here. And then you can bring this point over here. So now you have this. 
To give it further funk, you can delay this transient here. So you can bring this guy here and then just bring this point down so it creates a sharp attack. Now the option here is to play with the curve here and this is up to you and your taste. You could also add a point here so that there's a pause in between the syllables. So that's the options for you. You could have it straight like that or you could add a pause in between the syllables. I'll put it around here. All right, so that's the sound and we're done. Actually, just joking. There's more to it, but this is the basis of the sound. From here on in, everything is optional, so we can apply a filter to the sound. So enable filter, and a good choice would be the bandpass filter. So then you can filter for specific ranges of the frequency profile and you can play with it i like it there it gives you some of those higher frequencies then you can bring the drive up okay so now onto some effects again this is optional but you could add some distortion increase the drive now you could modulate the drive of the lfo1 so bring lfo1 over just bring it down a bit now I found adding a phaser brings out some nice qualities in the bass here. So let's turn on the filter. Now we're going to change the rate down here. We don't really want the rate to fluctuate. It's all about adjusting the depth and the frequency. I find right there sounds good, but again, it's really up to you how you like it to sound. Now optional, you can add a bit of delay. Just bring down the wet signal. Now we're going to EQ it and just filter out the bottom end. So turn on the high pass here and then adjust the frequency. For this one, I kind of like it higher up around 200 to 400 hertz. And then go back to the main section and let's turn on the sub oscillator and just hit direct out so it bypasses the effects section. And then I'm just gonna change the filter cutoff. Now that I have the sub frequency and the effects, I can dial in and really tweak the sound to my liking. Okay, so that's the basic sound in Serum. Now to add some sauce, you can add Saturator and then drive the signal. I find anything before 12 dB before it gets too distorted. Okay, so now that we have the sound, let's program in some notes and I'm going to make this a two bar sequence and we're going to be using the quarter note. Since our bass is written in a quarter note on the LFO, then using the quarter note would make sense. And then just find the right octave, which is octave zero. And then you can add a note like that. Now I added this overlap here because I'm thinking of adding some glide between the high notes. So I'm gonna go back into Serum and I'm gonna turn on mono mode and then add some glide. So about, let's say 120 milliseconds, just to make it a little more funky when it changes notes. Okay, so now let's hear how it sounds with a beat. Now to add a little more funk, you can add some space in between the notes. So you add some space in between these guys. So there's a little more separation and attack. Now, another thing you can do is automate the wave table position as well as the cutoff position. So we'll demonstrate each one separately. Now I've configured the wavetable position and filter cutoff here for Serum. If you don't see it, simply hit the configure button then hit the relevant knobs, then they should appear here. So I'll first show you automating the wavetable position. So make sure you're in automation mode, hit this button here, and then we're in the quarter notes. We're gonna be changing the wavetable position per note. So we could perhaps bring this guy down here and then 
bring these guys up here and then maybe bring this guy back down here like that. So another option is to automate the filter cutoff. Now I have this other pattern here. So we can change the filter per note again like this. Bring this guy all the way up like this. So again, that's automating the filter cutoff and we're using a bandpass filter. However, I would suggest you guys experiment with other filters. You can try high pass and even low pass and play with the resonance and cutoff. Now another tip you can try with this bass is interchange between a bass sound. Now I have this other Belgian jump up sound created here and we can show you how I made this sound in a future video. But basically we're gonna be switching between the two sounds. So I have this sound here. So we have these notes here. And then I'm going to fill the space in between with this bass here. And this is playing a triplet rhythm, which is used a lot in Belgian jump up. And this sound was inspired by Captain Bass, so shouts out to Captain Bass. Now let's hear it both together. All right, so that's my take on Belgian Jump Up. Once again, let me know how I did, if it sounds authentic, or if there's something I need. Again, this is my first take on it. This is level one, and there's definitely more you can do with this sound, and we'll dive deeper into Belgian Jump Up in future videos. Once again, the concept is basic. It's finding a alien kind of sounding wavetable and then articulating the volume so you get that two syllables kind of like that ducka ducka mr evil sound so i encourage you guys to experiment and try other articulations maybe there's other words that you can emulate using this sound so i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you found it helpful and if it did make sure you hit the like button comment and share and if you want to see more videos like this then make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification but that's pretty much it for today guys thanks again for watching keep practicing and i'll see you at the next video